Oh my, look what we got here. Here's some King Devil Ended Art markers. It has that the wider the wider edge. How much of those? Um, oh come on, where's the price? There they are, twenty dollars. And what's this? Now I could use some canvas pouch. I could use the 24 brushes. $20. I could use some brushes when I start doing some tempura paint sticks. I think I have these. And these are $7. And the brush pens, which I have. I have them at $48. Here they got them for 15, for 24, and there's the 48 set that I have, and the price of those are 20. And there's some racks of sort. There's a sketchbook. And those are fifteen dollars. Eight by eight spiral bookmark, bright markers, sticker sheets, and wash tape. What's this back here? King Art watercolor brush marker set, and that one is fifteen dollars. This here. So many new things. This is Artist Pastels. Ooh, this is cool. This is $13. I just brought some pastels that I had stored, so I guess I don't need any of those. And what's this? Thin pen, uh, paint strips, sticks. And that one is 13 Metallic. I love metallics. See, there's six metallic sticks in there. I wonder what those are like. Paint sticks. Hmm. I'll keep that aside to see what about that is. What are these? Uh, twin tip brush markers. And it shows the tip, the brush, and that small, finer point. And those are $10. And color chalk markers, chalk, and that one is seventeen dollars. And pastels up there. We've got here water. Ooh, I love metallic. Paintbrush and sixteen colors. Watercolor it is. And here's the thirty. Seven piece. That one is seven dollars for the thirty-seven. How much for the seventeen? Four. A lot of bang for your buck here with King Art. For a lesson, watercolor pan set, and that's six dollars. And this is a watercolor pan set, and that one is ten dollars. You know, I've got the paper. I just in some watercolors, I just. I'm not there yet. I'm still going around in circles <laughs> on those uh, mandalas. Okay, this is $20 for those brushes. And what is this? Oh, a stationary set with all the flowers. I would like to paint flowers, though. So $5. And then let's put those there. An artist brush. This one, you can kind of see the brushes, what you're getting. I have a few odds and ends. 12 for $15. And the fine art 12. Ooh, the tall ones. And for acrylic oil watercolor. And those are $15. So. I'm figuring out like with acrylics or oils, you can, you know, you can cover you can cover up your colors and change them totally if you don't like the way your 
design is going. Okay, what was, what do I, I don't think I need anything here. I think I got most of what I want right now. But these paint sticks, they're thin. Where's the picture of the brush? There's no, hmm. Painting on paper, apply with the essence of paint. Require no brushes or water. Quick drying. Huh. Well, how much is that one? 13. I'll think about that. What was I going to think about? Think about that. See, I've got the paint sticks already. Okay. All right, let's go in the back and see if there's more. Well, let's stop here first. You know, I would like a bullet journal, you know, with all the little dots. Uh, I've got a lot of blank books, and I love my blank books. They just kind of stay blank for quite a while. What's this? Color therapy. Mandel Geometric Helen Coloring Kit. And I hope nothing falls here. Oh, there they are. Oh, that paper is so thin, though. Interesting. I love the one, the books that I have right now that I'm using is to color it. And um, I think there's fifty million dollars, and I haven't got through those. Let's see what else have we got. Okay, let's go back. Hold on. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got some paint, watercolor, watercolor paint set 12, and the price on that one is $5. The fine line pens, I have these, but they're, they're good for journaling, but they sure weren't good for they were too thin, and those are $20. This is Monte Mart. I haven't tried that brand. And Flexi Tip, $6. A King Art. Ooh, look at that. King Art Twin Tip Brush Pens. Making them in a smaller size. And that one is $10. Kind of set up like a... Um, Tombow, Tombow. And here is a water brush. I haven't used those yet. I've got some of those water brushes. A chalk marker, metallic. And those are $3.99. Four. Okay. King Art, that fine tip. And that one is 10. And what's back here are some brushes. Some ooh, tiny little, tiny little brushes. And those are 10. Metallic marker. Ooh, I love metallic. This is $5. And doesn't vivid, doesn't say marker. Medium tip. Ooh, I might think about those too. And what's this? These, oh, I have these, and these are lovely. If you want to get some glitter pens, $4, a great price. And they are glitter. Pilot markers back there. And the price of that is $7, $6.99. Okay. I'm going to have to cut out these parts I'm so slow. Artist brush set. This is $15. And there's more of the water colors. The fine line markers. The deck of cards. King Art. I really would like some more Tombow in the pastels. And I've got a lot of these. The larger sets. This is ten dollars. 
Those soft pastel, 13. And a brush set here for 20. And I was gonna think about these. What is this? Uh, 18 well plastic storage. That must be for watercolors, 13. Okay, so it's uh, 18 color slants, large mixing area, removable clear style tray, airtight compartment, and leak proof. Hmm. I'm not there yet either. Okay. A lot of art supplies here today. Oop. I might get this. Okay, bullet journals. Let's see if we have any of those here. I'll just take a quick peek through. There's all sorts of books here. They have these, the mole skin, but the ones I've found so far are lined. These are $8. I think where I get these, somebody told me where to get the bullet ones are over at Michael's. But I always like to look to see what they have. I might find something good in here. Or an art book. Okay, hold on. Well, anyways, I'm at Marshall's. If you're interested in any of these uh, blank books, we got a whole, whole supply of them here. Okay, I'm going to end with that. Thank you very much. Bye.